Mike is a damn tip drill, bitch. It must be his ass, cause the damn show ain't his face. <laughs> favorite favorite auntie mo y'all we are back for one of my favorite reviews y'all aside from catfish of course we are back for life after lockup y'all this is season 2.0.3.1 point what the fuck ever season two episode 49 the wife the girlfriend and a side chick oh it went down this episode y'all as always, church announcement, before we get into this review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Also, let me know that you stopped by. Before you leave, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hey, either way it go, I understand. I get it. Y'all look at my shirt. Get into it. Let me show y'all this shirt that other Tracy sent me. Classy with a side of hood. Act up, you can get snatched up. Thank you, La Tracy. She sent me a couple of these little shirts. Girl, she sent me some shirts like she been knowing me her whole goddamn life. When I seen this from Classy with a little bit of hood, my husband said, yep, that's you right there. I was like, you nigga, you know why you fucking married me with my Classy ass. But thank you for this shirt, y'all. I will leave her Instagram information in the description box down below. So if y'all want to get y'all some cute little shirts made, she made me a couple of them. So y'all will see me in a couple of these little shirts. Shout out to you, my boo, Trace, and she done hooked your auntie up, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit, because this is my first fan mail, or not even fan mail, like, somebody done sent me something. Ain't nobody done sent me something before. I'm feeling fancy. Shit, I done got sent something. Anyways, y'all, look here. So, if y'all are not following Sherelle's world, I'm gonna need y'all to follow Sherelle's world. I was not actually sub to her, but she always comes up in my recommendations, and so I would always watch her videos. She's a cutesy little thing. She comes at you with the best tea. Aside from Color Me Pink, baby Sherelle World come at you with some good ass goddamn tea about the, the um, reality TV celebrities, the D-list celebrities or whatever, right? Well, but she had reported the Senorita side chick she used to do something strange for a little piece of change, bitch. She done been arrested like three, four, five times for solicitation and prostitution. I said, oh, she wasn't no ordinary hoe. She was a working hoe. Yes, she was out there getting her goddamn coins. I said, oh, I damn so won't let my goddamn people know about this tonight. But look here. Before we get into this review, y'all, oh yeah, I done already told y'all to subscribe and do all of that shit. I done got so excited about the tea and about the shirts and, and the wine. Y'all already know Moscato make your auntie hot -oh. Look here, hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, y'all, let's start off with Brittany and Marcelino, right? Now, Marcelino, we already know that he went to the little poker coach. She was a little cute-ass thing. Why you have to go to a little pretty-ass coach, uh, coach, poker coach? My boy Mizzle said that. Mizzle 14. If y'all not following Mizzle 14, follow Mizzle 14, too. That's my boo. He had mentioned that. Why she got to be all cute and shit? You could have went to you all regular, smegular, degular little poker coach. We caught that goddamn tea. Anyways, he come back in the house late as hell. Brittany rolled over. She was like, so, um, nigga, how the poker game go? You did good at it? My sister was like, oh, yeah, I was good. You know, my kid folks suck. He whack as hell. She was like, oh, do he really? Do he really, nigga? Uh-huh. So she rolled over, act like she going back to goddamn sleep. This nigga Marcelino go up in the kitchen, drunk him about four, five beers, ate about a whole bag of funions, some cookies, and some fruit roll-ups and shit and left the whole goddamn mess that went passed out in the goddamn bed, right? She wake up the next morning, go in the kitchen. Oh, I know this motherfucker didn't. Leave all this goddamn shit in for me to clean up with my pregnant ass? The hell? Oh, no, this nigga didn't. She called her mama. Look here, mama. I'm gonna need you to uh be ready. I'm gonna drop these kids off. I'm gonna have to go outside Marcelino's head real quick. The kids don't need to see this. So we fit to be there in a few got dog on minutes. She goes drop kids off over to mama house. She come back, Marcelino passed out of bed. She said, oh, nigga, not today. She goes get a goddamn one of them full ass bottles of beer. Get this nigga a beer shot, wake up, bitch, wake up. So what the hell's going on, nigga? 
Your kid folk call me looking for your goddamn mask, but you tell him to come in the goddamn house telling me you was out playing poker with his goddamn sorry ass. This nigga calling me looking for you. The fuck going on? What the hell's going on, nigga? Tell me. He's sitting there quiet the whole time. She going off. She smacked this nigga in the face, which, um, I'm a firm believer of keep your hands to yourself. I mean, I won't have to cut you unless I got to cut you, cut you. So, other than that, we should all keep our hands feeding the other objects to ourselves. That's just how I feel. But, yeah, you pregnant. You caught up in the heat of the moment. You know what I'm saying? You got papers on the nigga. You do what you got to do. So, she smacks his ass. And, uh, he's sitting there quiet the whole goddamn time. until so she like, you know, nigga, you won't say that you fuck this shit there. I'm goddamn leaving. So, she gets ready to leave. He's like, hold on, wait a minute. Where you think you're going pregnant and mad and mad driving and shit? I ain't for that. You leaving like that? Look here. I went to a poker coach because the nigga done lost... A couple stacks of money. So I had to go to a poker coach to try to get my game up. Now, I don't know if maybe they cut out the part that she got mad about the money. But she was like, oh, yeah, you went to a poker coach? Really? I don't know. I'd have been like, nigga, what you mean you lost some money? Some ducats at this house? What you lost? That would have been my guy. But, hey, priorities, dip, dip people's mind go to different goddamn things. She gets pissed off. She leaves because she like, nigga, look here. You fucking lying. You lied and said she was with your kinfolk. Now you saying you with a poor coach thing. I don't know what the fuck goddamn believe. But and you saying you lose goddamn money. Oh, no, nigga. I need to go and I need to fucking think about some things. So she done went and got in the car. She done drove off. She mad as hell. And they 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 part pretty much in it from there. But again, Brittany, did you get mad about the money too? Did we just miss that part? Because I had to go back and rewind. I was like, wait. She didn't say nothing about the money. Oh, well, maybe it was just something I was missing. I don't know, but moving on from there. Andrea and Lamar. So her homegirl, Michelle, come over to the house, try to have a little conversation with her ass. Lamar, like, look here, that bitch in there tripping. I need you to go on there, holla her ass, tell her to pull her head out of her ass. I don't know what the fuck going on with her, but go on there and help that bitch. Just help that damn child. So she going there, bitch, Andrea in there tearing down them goddamn Ferrero Rocher, them, them good ass hazelnut chocolate with the soft shell and the... Ooh, them one of my favorite goddamn chocolates, Ferrero Rocher. Ooh. Mm. So she ends up telling Michelle about the whole condoms in the pocket. Michelle is like, okay, so you said they're not his. So what the hell is the problem? And she's like, no, girl. Sometimes when I call him here in the studio and I can hear females in the background, and girl, that just makes me think, is he paying prostitutes? Michelle, like, okay, see, bitch, look here. You done lost me. You lost me when you took it there, when you went all the way to goddamn left. Where, where you going with this goddamn shit? Look here. Throw them goddamn condoms and boy, they ain't his. Your husband love your goddamn crazy ass. You done said it yourself, bitch, you're complicated. But he love your complicated ass. What y'all niggas need to do is move back together, try to come on one goddamn common ground, and work goddamn shit out. Like, come on now. Now, later on, they end up going to her favorite spot on top of a mountain where it's butt crap cold. It was beautiful, though. Very beautiful scenery. And they just talk. You know, she like, look here. I don't, I don't, I don't want us to fuss. I don't want to fight. I just want to make it right. Like, what can we do to do this? Loke, like, look here. I'm not the same Loke you knew when I was locked up, Loke. I got to own my, my own mind. I got my own way of thinking, Loke. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we, you got to understand. You got the new Loke. <laughs> you going to love me? Is you riding or what? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, they end up making up. And I really do like Andrea and Lamar together. I hope they can work their relationship out. Because when they worked it out on the little mountain, that was so cute. But then I love love, too. I just thought that was so super cute. So, y'all, they going to do a family vote and see where they should move to. Now, both of them are for sure that the kids are going to vote on a vote on their side. So we're going to see what's going to happen. I'd be surprised if them kids really want to stay in Utah because they don't seem like, look like that. that's that's my mama want to do that. But then again, the same time, they love their mama. So they're going to do whatever their mama want to do. But kids, y'all don't stay in Utah. Spread your wings. Fly. It's life aside from the Mormon. Not, not down in the Mormon. That's not what I'm saying. Don't cover me because I ain't sent for you. What I'm saying is spread your wings. Just fly. Lacey, Shane, and John. <laughs> Y'all, Daddy and Shane outside putting the trampoline together for the babies. Lacey on the inside having phone FaceTime sex with John. Oh my God, take off your shirt. You look so hot. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. You like it? You like my shirt? You like what I'm wearing? You like me boobs? 
Yeah. How'd I feel with my boobs? Yeah. Just gross. Just trash. Just fucking trash. That fucking lacy girl. Bitch, when that steel toe boot knocked the stripes out your ass, I can't. I, I, I just, I just want to know what kind of moons, clovers, and horseshoes and stars your ass is gonna see. Then niggas, one of them niggas gonna knock your ass out, girl. Then. John gonna say, don't you think it's about time for him to get on up out of there? About time to move his ass on up out of there, huh? That nigga ain't good for you. He can't do what the fuck I can do for you. Lacey's like, yeah, I think you're right. Like, what is a marriage with no trust? Like, I don't trust him anymore. So, maybe John is right. So, she been in a moving this nigga Shane out of her house to move John up in there. You know, hey, y'all hear them sirens? Someone call 911. <laughs> Cause they gonna knock the shit out of Lacey ass. <sighs> Clint and Tracy, who Lord. Clint hurt y'all. God has gone off that shit. That shit done got goddess, y'all. It done got her goddamn ass. Clint over there at mama house. Mom said, Clint, baby. Clint, what the hell is we gonna do now, Clint? I'm not crying no more, Clint. I'm Mary J. Blige to the shit, Clint. I'm not gonna cry no damn more, Clint. What is you gonna do about the shit, Clint? Lord, another thing. Why do you keep zooming in on Clint nasty ass nails? <gasps> Clint nails look like this. Look like he a fucking groundhog or something. Like he just been digging dirt. That's what he do for a living is fucking dig dirt. I just, ugh. The nigga nails. That's where the goddamn Corona shit is coming from. Clint fucking nasty ass nails. That's nasty, y'all. But you know, it was sad to see mama crying like that. Mama like, look here. You have to make a choice, Clint. You, 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 you ought to be tired of this whole Clint. You need to marry Jay Blige, this bitch like I am now. Next morning, Tracy blowing Clint goddamn phone up. Clint looking at his phone. Fuck, it's Tracy. Damn it, it's goddamn Tracy. He mad. Don't act like you ain't goddamn mad, nigga. You know you happy. You happy because your goddamn goddess is reaching out to your ass. You said she been gone on a bender for a couple days now. <laughs> that shit done had her. Ooh, that shit got Tracy, y'all. He's going to go in the house and tell mama. Mama, look here. Um, So, uh, yeah, Tracy done called me. I really want to go to the house and I need to check on my dogs. Yeah, and then I also want to check with Tracy to see if she want to go to rehab. But I really check on my dogs. Mama say, uh, okay. What the hell they got to do with me, Clint, baby? He said, well, yeah, love, well, love, Rama. You know, Tracy got my car. So, yeah, I'm going to need to ride to the house. Mama say, nope. <laughs> Not going to be able to do it. I ain't taking to that whole Clint. That's enabling, and I ain't enabling the shit. I'm Mary J. Blige to the shit, Clint. I'm not going to do it, Clint. Clint said, Mama, that's not enabling. That's just giving me a ride. That's giving you a ride to go enable that whole Clinton. I'm not going to do it, Clint, baby. Child, so probably one of the producers done gave this nigga a ride. Like, look here, nigga, we got to get this shit on film. Get this nigga, nigga, nigga. y'all can take my car. Go get this shit on film. They going to drop this nigga off at the house. It's calling the motherfucker. Who jacket did you have on when you was at? What, at you probably had on your daddy jacket. Or maybe that was... Your house jacket that you wear at mama house. You finna go to that hole. You can't take your jacket that I got your ass neither. I ain't enabling shit. You get heat from that bitch too. I ain't enabling goddamn thing. You gotta go ahead then, mama. Mama say I'm married to Jay Blige to the goddamn bullshit. But goddamn, Clint go back there, knocking on the door. This bitch don't answer the goddamn door. He said, I'm gonna keep knocking on the door. I hear the dryer. I said, oh, Clint. Clint, baby, he just ain't going to be satisfied. He ain't going to be satisfied until she's, <laughs> he going to wake up on the floor because this bitch done smoked the bed away. Clint, what's it going to take, Clint? Mama Mary J. Blige to that shit. I ain't even mad at her. Angela and Tony. Y'all, Angela going to drop Tony off like a play date with Tommy to go look for some suits for the goddamn wedding. I said, oh, ain't that cute? 
Chada went, I don't know if she went took these niggas to the men's warehouse, k and G. I I don't know where the fuck, they probably went to Ross or Marshalls or something. Anyways, they look for some goddamn suits, right? Now, y'all know, Tommy don't like goddamn Tony ass. He done already proposed to Big Ass. That's what he trying to be. That's that's his goddamn goddess, right? But he trying to keep his cool, trying to keep his little shit together, whatever, right? Like, I'm, I'm going to keep my shit together for my girl, you know what I'm saying? They looking for suits or whatever, right? And so, they get to chopping it up. Tommy said, well, you know what? Um, right now is a good time to Zinni. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you and Ange, y'all good? Y'all work shit out? Well, I think it's important that you know that, uh, I asked Big Ange to marry me, and you're lucky, nigga. She turned me down. She turned me down because of you. Tommy, like, uh, Tony, he was like, oh, really? I've been engaged to the bra for over two years, and she ain't told me not a now, not a damn thing about you being goddamn in love with her, so you still in love with her? He was like, well, yeah, I reckon I am, and, uh, I just want you to know I took some self-defense classes, so if need be, I can protect myself. And uh, 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 uh you, you run out on Big Ange with some hoes again, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. Gonna have to make sure you don't do that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Cause these self-defense classes I got off a of Groupon. I'm ready, nigga. TTG, I'm trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Tony, I look here, my nigga. Uh, have you ever killed anybody before? You ever had the look of death in your eyes before? Tom was like, well, no, um, I reckon I haven't, but Groupon done assured me I'm going to get my motherfucking money back if shit go left. But uh, I'm TTG, my nigga. Tony said, well, look here, if you ain't never killed nobody, you ain't never been to the ghetto, nigga, don't ever come to the ghetto because you want to understand the ghetto. So stay the fuck out the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Now, Tony hopped in the motherfucker, right? Afterwards, Tommy looking like, well, you know, I'm just letting you know, nigga, I got 911 on speed dial too, nigga. Don't fucking tip me, nigga. Don't push me. Bitch, Tony go back to the house. He mad than the motherfucker. He go storming in. He light bulb red. Big ass like, Tony. So out the suit shop and go with Tommy. You know, that's my best. Stay out of everything, go. Tony said, when the fuck are you going to tell me this nigga done propose to your ass? Big ass looking like, oh, well, love. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. I turned them down for you, Tony. You know that. I love you, boy. He was like, well, look here. You can't talk to that nigga. You can't see that nigga. I don't want you to have nothing to do with that nigga, bitch ass. Big ass like, nigga, please. <laughs> you don't put rules on me, Tony. I put rules on you. And it's it just what the fuck it is. Big ass goddamn. She basically gonna laugh this nigga off like, nigga, look here. <laughs> I'm going to see this nigga whenever the fuck I want to and ain't nothing you can goddamn do about it, nigga. Tony called himself trying to flex his little old muscle also. You going to tell me I can't run around with prostitutes, but you can sit up here and have Tommy be your bestie and shit. This nigga done goddamn proposed to you. This nigga threatened me up in Marshalls today. Big ass said, oh, what, you scared of the nigga? Nigga, you scared? You was in a pen, nigga. He's like, nah, I ain't scared. I'm just saying, I don't want to have to flex my muscle on this nigga. If I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit was goddamn funny to me. When Tommy said, look here, I learned self-defense, nigga. I will take your ass out. I was like, Tommy, you better go set your goddamn ass down before you put a goddamn prison chokehold on your ass. Megan, Mike, Sarah, and Senorita Side Chick. Bitch, Senorita Side Chick, a.k.a. Miss 304. Mm-hmm. Bitch, she over here talking to the producers, talking about so... Megan stayed the night, no, um, Michael stayed the night over with Sarah last night because she went out and we had a set of rules. He was supposed to call me. He didn't call me, but uh, regardless, that's my man. And I know he ain't doing nothing with Sarah, so it is what it is. Meanwhile, producers asked Sarah, Sarah, what the hell didn't have to sit on? We goosed. We did it. We did the do. We did the dirty. We did the nasty. That's my hubby. I got papers on that nigga. I get the D whenever I want to. I said, Sarah, use a dumbass goddamn fool. Use a dumb dummy. I don't give a damn if that is your husband. Bitch, you're stupid. You stupid. You the side chick. Even though you married to him, bitch, you the side chick. You ain't even the main chick. Because he still got a whole... Now, ain't now one of y'all hoes the main chick. All of y'all the goddamn side chicks. The hell? Child, this nigga Michael come rolling in at 11.30 in the afternoon, damn near 12 o'clock the next goddamn day. Senorita side check math in the motherfucker. She walked up to the where the hell you, where you, where you been? Like, what the hell is going on? We had rules. I gave your ass a curfew. Like, you had rules and regulations, nigga. Fuck them went on. 
he done finagled his way out of that right up into some cooch. But now this is the this is the fucking kicker. He said, I didn't know I had missed no call till I tried to call my Uber. And then I didn't call because I was on my way. I didn't hear my phone. Why they talking? This nigga phone started ringing and going off. Bitch, guess who it is? It's Megan. Bitch, you heard me. It's Megan. So this nigga done finagled his way out of that. Right up into Senorita side chick, little old Poochie. So he done got him some puss, right? Later on, Megan is still blowing up this nigga phone. He tells Senorita side chick he finna go downstairs and smoke a cigarette. He outside smoking up a cigarette. He on the phone with goddamn Megan. Tell the Megan, oh, what's up, mom? Yeah, I'm coming to your city. I'm coming to see you. She's like, all right, cool. But I've been trying to call you for three weeks. Why you ain't calling me back, though? But you coming to see me? All right, cool. Megan. I want better. I want better for all you females. I really do. But um, anywho, we got Sarah ass talking to produce talking about Mike said he was supposed to come and take Aviana for ice cream, and I ain't heard from him all day since he done got my cookies last night, and probably a couple times this morning. I ain't heard from his ass. I know he down here at the hotel, so fuck it. I'm just finna go ahead and stop by. Lo and behold, this bitch go to the hotel, just so happens he outside with Senorita's side chick smoking it up with cigarette. Sarah get out the car. Hey Mike, I need to talk to you about Aviana. It's real important. It goes and tries to walk out. Senorita's side chick, I go, nah, bitch. You call him on the phone. You been calling him all day. You need to call him on the phone. Oh, she was real hype. She was real bold with a real thick in the shoulders and shit. Y'all, they going back and forth. Sarah said, you were supposed to take me out of my ice cream. You promised her ice cream and you did it. This whole time, Senorita side chick is going off. Mike trying to break shit up. Y'all, the episode pretty much ends from there. I thought the damn security from the hotel was finna come outside and was finna get all up in the shit and they was finna get into it. At least what they showed on the previews, but y'all already know how we TV do. They get your blood pressure up just to cut your ass off right in the goddamn middle. But y'all, we gonna see what's gonna happen on the next episode. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find out some more tea on the behind the scenes type stuff since y'all said y'all want that, but that was a little bit that I had that I just kind of got today. But, um, look here. Y'all already know. If it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, thank y'all for watching. And y'all Auntie Mo. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.